Mr. TV and the New York Giants have been spending money. Today we're going to talk about it. We're also going to talk about some other moves and other videos that I'm going to make today and this week. So if you haven't subscribed already, I suggest you do so now. Now with that said, Olivier Vernon. He's the big one that I got to talk about. I got to get it out of the way because Giants fans are not going to like what I have to say about him. Or maybe you will because you agree. And I'm sure a lot of you will. It's too much money. It's way too much money. Olivier Vernon, five years, $85.5 million, former left defensive end for the Miami Dolphins, and it's just way too much freaking money. I mean, we're talking about a guy that had 11 and a half sacks in 2013. That's good. Had six and a half in 2014. That's poor. Had seven and a half sacks in 2015. That's poor. When we're talking about a guy getting paid $17.5 million. Now, when we're talking about a guy, oh, okay, he's getting paid eh, $5 million, $6 million. Okay, I can understand that $17.5 million or $17 million per year. I mean, come on. I mean, this is a god-awful contract, and there's no other way to look at it to me. I mean, I don't know how you can look at this contract and say, wow, what a great contract. I mean, I think he's the worst player on the defensive line. I mean, they've added now. Now, Damon Harrison, who I'll get into in a minute, Jason Pierre, Paul, who I'll get into in a minute. Well, they already had him, but they've re-upped him. He's the worst player on the defensive line. They have Jonathan Hankins next to him. I mean, Jonathan Hankins close to me. I mean, I, I really don't understand this signing at all. Now, Olivier Vernon is a very good run defender, actually. But how much value are you putting in that? I mean, when we're talking about a 4-3 defensive end in the NFL getting paid $17 million. You got to get to the quarterback. You got to get sacks. You got to get 12 sacks a year. You got to get big sacks. You got to get huge sacks. This guy finished 29th in sacks. And just to hit my point home, I'm going to list every single player in the NFL that had more sacks than this guy just to hit my point home. And by the way, Olivia Vernon did play 16 games. He's played 16 games for the past four years. So there's no real reason why his sack number should be so low. J.J. Watt, Khalil Mack, Ezekiel Ansa, Carlos Dunlap, Chandler Jones, Muhammad Wilkerson, Whitney Merciless, Geno Atkins, Von Miller, Kawan Short, Aaron Donald. These guys are defensive tackles, by the way. Kawan Short, uh, Kawan Short and Aaron Donald. These guys are defensive tackles. Julius Peppers, Everson Griffin, Melvin Ingram, Michael Bennett, Cameron Jordan, Robert Ayers, who used to play for the New York Giants. Is he going to be better than Robert Ayers? I don't even think so. Ryan Kerrigan, Fletcher Cox, Cliff Averill, Jared McCoy, Dwight Free, Lamar Houston, Jabal Shear, Demarcus Lawrence, Preston Smith, Demarcus Ware, Justin Houston, and then Olivier Vernon. 29th in sacks in the NFL, and a lot of the guys that I named before him missed games. Like Jared McCoy, missed games. Like mm, Demarcus Ware, missed games. Justin Houston, missed games. A lot of these guys missed games, and yet Olivier Vernon. Only had seven and a half stacks. He's getting paid $17 million per year. He gave him $52 million of it guaranteed. If this was a five-year, $52 million deal, which it could be if they cut him tomorrow. If they cut him tomorrow, that's what the deal would be. And it would be a horrible deal to me. I don't think he deserves $10 million a year. I definitely don't think he deserves 17 I don't think he deserves... Uh, probably eight, and that'd be my maximum. I don't understand it. I think it must be because this year there weren't many or any 4-3 defensive end pass rushers. So Olivier Vernon got a lot, a lot more value today. And, I mean, it's unbelievable. Now, let's stop being pessimistic. Let's talk about the good signings. The best one, I think was the re-signing of Jason Pierre-Paul for a one-year $10 million deal. And this is a guy that can actually produce a nice 16-sack season like he's had in the past. So re-sign him for a year, see what he does, and then you can franchise him again, or you can re-sign him if he has a nice year. I think that's the best deal that they had this year in free agency. Then you look at Janoris Jenkins. This is a cornerback that they added five years, $62 million. And I, I think it's a little high, but I think it, it could end up being worth it. Janoris Jenkins still has some untapped potential, and is even a good starter without that untapped potential. Now, I didn't think you guys needed a big, I didn't think you guys had a big need at cornerback. Yes, Prince of Mukumar is a free agent, but I didn't think you guys needed to spend this much money on that position. I just think you're spending too much money, to be quite uh, frank with you. But I think it's a good signing. Now, I think it's a little long. I would have given him a four-year deal. Five years is a little long for me because this is a guy that has had some issues coming into the NFL 
in the NFL, it's been pretty clean. Uh, but still, that kind of worries me. So I wouldn't have gave him five years. I think he may end up regretting that. But, you know, for the most part, I think this is a good deal. Damon Harrison, I like. This is a guy, unlike Olivier Vernon, uh, actually a top five player in his position. Damon Harrison was a top five nose tackle in 2015, if not top three nose tackle in 2015. My one problem with this is not the contract, not the money, but is he a great fit? I mean, this is a guy that's been playing three, four nose tackle, uh, zero or one technique throughout his time in the NFL. Now you're going to want to play four, three defensive tackle, presumably going to have to be on the field uh, on third down. So I think this might be a little bit of an issue there, but I'd like it all of it, all those signings more than Olivier Vernon. I mean, it's a horrible deal. I mean, it's a god-awful deal. It's a horrible deal. You, you cannot tell me, any, you cannot convince me if they cut him after three years, it's a horrible deal. Because you would have paid him, uh, how many, in three, uh, five, 19, you would have paid him $18 million to come, to leave, for what? I mean, $18 million per year, by the way. I mean, if you cut him after year three, you will have paid him $52 million in three years. I mean, that is $16.5, $17 million, if my math is correct, per year, guaranteed. I mean, this is this is absurd. It's a horrible deal. I mean, it's a god-awful deal. The one thing you can say is that he's been healthy. He hasn't missed a game, so at least he's going to be on the field. Okay, will he be very good? I don't think so. I think it's a bad deal. But overall... This is what I think about your team. I think you guys can make the playoffs in 2016, not because of these signings. These, these signings, they don't make a huge difference for me. I just think that, again, Odell Beckham is so great. And uh, Eli Manning is getting better, even at his age. I think there's a lot to like here. I like the progress of Lennon Collins. I like the progress of Justin Pugh, of Eric Flowers. I like the young guys. The old guys, nah, who cares? You have to build through the draft. And those are the guys that are going to uh, bring you to the playoffs, possibly to the Super Bowl, which should be the goal of yours. But I don't think we're going to look back at the Giants winning the Super Bowl or making the playoffs saying, oh, it's because they got Olivier Vernon. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think they give him too much money today. But that doesn't mean you're screwed. You're going to have to draft well. You're talking about sitting at number 10. I think Ezekiel Elliott could be a possibility. And now that you've got a corner, now that you've got a defensive line completely filled up, I think we can now start a conversation of wide receiver. Victor Cruz looks like he could be gone out of there. And Laquan Treadwell could fit nicely in New York. Uh, so I don't think you're screwed, but man, these are bad deals. Uh, the Olivia Vernon deal is a bad deal. Uh, the Janoris Jenkins is a little rich. Uh, the Damon Harrison's a little rich uh, for, because he's not a great fit. If it was a great fit, it would be a perfect contract to me. But the Jesse Bear Paul, that's your best contract. Congratulations on that. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.